Let's go, girls. social uk don't forget to subscribe and like this if you've enjoyed this video so today we're going to do a little bit different i've got my best friend with me lauren um, and we're going to be having a little bit of fun and we're going to be going on a road trip because massive thank you to bmw mini in colchester for lending us this absolutely beautiful mini convertible the weather is absolutely dreadful like literally shit. so we're sitting in mcdonald's and we're gonna do the roof now because this might be the only option we have. Oh! <laughs> Wasn't expecting to do no. that. <laughs> oh, that's sunroof, and then oh. you, then we go again. Oh, there we go. Oh, guys, <laughs> probably gonna get wet in five minutes. But it does only take eighteen seconds to go down, and then eighteen seconds to go back up and it will do it at speeds of 18 miles per hour so i may just have to slow down like ridiculously slow and put it back up lauren's made the executive decision that we're off to mersey that we're off to mersey and we're going to leave the roof down and which is a hell of a risk because there's some blue sky but some clouds as well so we're going to go for a drive we're going to take it somewhere a little bit nice um, and hopefully we don't get caught in the rain got the heated seats on though so optional extra of the vinyl stickers on the bonnet um, and they're about 150 pounds similar with the sports kit you also get the lovely 17 inch gloss black john cooper works alloy wheels so we've been ridiculously lucky with the weather today it's actually stayed really nice considering when i checked the weather this morning and it said it was literally going to be non-stop rain all day so i'm really pleased but that's the thing about convertibles even though the UK is such hit and miss weather, we're actually the biggest purchasers of um, convertibles in Europe. And the mini convertible is the most brought one in the whole of the UK. But it's easy to see why. It is a really nice looking car. So mini by name, mini by nature. This car is not known for having tons of storage space, but the boot does come outwards, which does make it easier for loading. And there isn't huge amounts of space in there, but it does go back in quite deep and it is bigger than previous models. This one is the 1.5 petrol engine. So I drove the Mini Cooper S the other day, which is the two litre petrol, um, 180 brake. Um, and this one has a little bit more modest 134 brake horsepower, but it still feels really good. There's plenty of speed. I definitely don't feel like I wouldn't worry about taking over. It's got loads of power when you need it. Um, because it is a Mini, it does still feel a little bit heavy. Driving's a little bit heavier as well, um, but I really enjoy that. I think for the car that it is, makes you feel connected with the road and I really do enjoy this car. Oh, we're gonna get stuck. What, in the water? No, not in the water. Oh. Just up that road, because I feel like that road's really oh, small. Okay. So, doing a bit of reversing, and a lot of people online say that the um, visibility isn't great. 
and it isn't to be fair. It is a bit hard to see what you're looking at but then with the 2019 model they have made um, the rear view camera standard um, and it's got parking sensors surrounded so that's really good. I think for a Mini, I personally wouldn't want a Mini to be my sportier car. So the S probably wouldn't be something I would go for. Now I know that Lauren's been thinking about getting a Mini for a while and do you think one fire petrol would be what you'd go for? The answer yes or no? The answer is yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know anything about cars. But, um, but yeah, it's, I think for a daily run around for people like me and Lauren, which wouldn't be doing we, we, we don't want to speed or go super super fast no. you just want a nice car um, to enjoy but that will still get you still be quick enough to get you out of problems and things like that and I think 100% the 1.5 petrol engine is a really good little engine when you put it like that that does make sense exactly see yeah. it would cost you a bloody fortune driving to Chelmsford in a 2 litre petrol oh yeah no we don't want that yeah definitely gonna have to take me car buying when you go you would 100% be suckered into so the dashboard and stuff you can have personalized so like you can have like your logo or you can have like your name like written along uh, the dashboard i would so have that yeah i know i don't know how much it costs but you'd definitely be the type would, of person yeah, i'd be like i need that and underneath the lights so um if you can what, personalize you know yeah, your door mirrors okay at night they beam out a light I know, which normally says mini, so on the floor it like but beams out. I could out have my name. You could have Lauren. That sounds great. I know. I would get that. I know. It's so cool, isn't it? That's yeah. literally, I said that's probably, that's probably what I'd get as well. Oh, 100%. Why would you not want lights that show your name? I know. That is great. <laughs> I feel like a typical girl for saying this, but I, I absolutely love this car. I do. I literally love it. I think my favourite part is the colour though. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I said to Lauren that I wouldn't have this in um, the Moonwalk Grey. I, I think I'd have it, well, I love a Larry colour. Yeah, you do. I'd have it in orange. Would you? Well, and I do like that blue as well. Do you know what though? I do really like that mustardy yellow. Yeah. I've seen those. I quite like that, but no, I think I'm quite basic when it comes to colours. Like, I really like the well, grey. See, I say that, and I said to you that I would have it in blue or some different colour, but um, it looks so good when we're taking mm. photos of it. It does. It's really like pearly, like mm. a pearly, it's yeah. like a lighter grey than I was wanting it to be. So, um, yeah, it's really lovely. I don't, I don't know if I'd bother with the stripes for 150 quid. I wouldn't. I'm, I'm, I've never been that striped kind of girl. Like, I like to keep my colour basic. I think I'd have the Union Jack on the roof, though. What colour does that Because that's an option. Like, like grey. Oh, grey. But so, like, grey, new... black, and then, obviously, the roof colour as well oh, is black. Yeah, I quite like but that. printed on the top. Yeah. See, so I think I'd probably have that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, driving the S the other day, really like that as well. Um, but it's, it is really lovely to drive. Um, everything's pretty simple to use. Uh, well, it... I mean, it took us a while to work out how to get the heating on. It did, yeah. It's kind of strange. Like, if I quickly show you, these are the buttons um, for doing all of the temperatures and things like that. Now, when we were driving along, obviously we have got dual zone climate control. Um, so Lauren's temperature can be different to mine, which is absolutely amazing. I love dual zone climate control. And you can set it to auto as well. So obviously it will keep you at the temperature. But we didn't have um, these sort of these ones here. They weren't coming out. So we were trying to work out how to get it to come on. Because obviously you've got the screen there, um, which is also the screen, your air con, your heated seats. But it's actually in, was it there we decided? Yeah, it was here. So you can obviously change it. So that's just coming towards us. That is the, what's that? Uh, everything, by Every, the looks yeah. of things. But yeah, you can change it, which but is yeah, quite cool. To, to be fair, that that is the only thing that took us a little while to work out how to use. Everything else is pretty simple. Um, these buttons are brilliant. So you've got your your start stop button there. Um, you have also got here. This is the um, the sport mode button. So this is the one thing where you've got to be careful not to get caught out. Sorry, it's losing focus this is the one thing you've got to get be careful not to get caught out so we are driving the sport version of the mini cooper um but regardless you don't ever get that button for free so that doesn't come on any of the packs even the most expensive john cooper works which has like the 
230 brake horsepower or whatever it is that still doesn't get the sport mode so this sport mode here is a um, 200 pound extra so you've got to make sure that when you're specking up your mini that's definitely something you add i mean you may you may not want it if you're going for well i suppose the 15 petrol you might not need it but if you're going for something like the john cooper works or the um, mini cooper s you're definitely going to want your sport but, uh, button and also obviously your green button as well so you're saving a bit on fuel I was literally just explaining to Lauren uh, about all the different packs so there's a few different packs of these this one's got the sport pack which also has the same um, body kit as the J John Cooper works so you've got the classic um, which is just a standard car um, with no extras you can add the packs on top but in terms of like body kit it's just like a standard car and then you have the exclusive so the exclusive is kind of your luxury so you get slightly nicer um, alloy wheels, um, you get some extra spec inside, I think you get some nicer seats, I think you get an armrest as standard on the exclusive. Um, and then you've got the Sport, which is this one, so that's got the same kit as the John Cooper Works. Um, and then from there you've got obviously the John Cooper Works, which is your all singing, all dancing performance car. So the mini convertible starts at just 269 deposit and 269 a month. Obviously this is a sport option so it will cost you a little bit extra but if you want any, anyone to go through your options then feel free to give Mini and Colchester a call and I'll drop their number below. They also have a 24 hour test drive so if it's something that you fancy trying out, see if you enjoy it, which I know you will, then feel free to give them a call and get that organised.